Hi, my name is Leanne Reimel. I'm a principal admin evangelist here at Salesforce. And did you know that you can use report charts in your Lightning App Builder pages? It's a great way to surface data on account pages, any type of record page, home pages, in the utility bar. The report chart standard component is awesome. It's one of my favorite features, and I'm excited to show you how you can use this to give more data to your end users. So we're in our demo org right now, and we're on the account page. And our users are going to the account page related this lot to look at details for the related opportunities. But we want to give them an awesome report that's right on the page that summarizes opportunities um, so they have that data very quickly. So we've created this existing report chart, uh, opportunity report chart is what we've named it. And this report is looking at all opportunities and we've used the uh, chart properties here to define exactly what we want this report chart to look like. Now these properties are super important because when you're going to use the report chart component to add charts to pages, they're going to be reflected just how the chart is reflected here in the actual report. So you want to make sure that you're setting the summarization levels, the totals, um, all of your kind of features here and the chart type that you're using exactly how you want it reflected on the actual page. And notice that we're also not filtering here. So we're not filtering because we're going to filter later. So we've got this looking at all of our uh, all of our opportunities for all of our deals, all of our accounts everywhere. So this report chart looks awesome. Let's jump back into our account page. Now on the account page, we're going to go to edit page. When we go to edit page, that's how we get to the Lightning App Builder for our account page. These are all the standard components that make up this page. And the first thing we're going to do is create a space for our new chart. And we're going to do that with tabs. So you can go in to add a tab and we're going to name this a custom name for uh, opportunity chart. Tabs are a really good way to optimize your screen real estate. Report charts are pretty big, right? And they're really visual and we wouldn't want to just drop one on the middle of the page and kind of take over the whole page if that's not something that our users are quickly you know, referencing every single time they go to the page. So we want to be thoughtful about where we put things, especially something that we want to display in a bigger way. So now we're going to use the report chart standard component and drag it into this tab. And when we do that, it's going to default to, you know, whatever the first report chart has access to is or that we have saved. Uh, but on the properties on the right for this report chart standard component, that's where we define what we want the name to be, what we want uh, the report to be that it's actually looking at. Um, so we're going to select which report we want to do and now the filtering. So we can select to filter by the account ID. Now it's also important to make sure that the report that you're adding has that record ID available. So now that we filter by account ID, we can go ahead and jump back into our page. And when we jump back into our page, we've got access to that awesome opportunity report chart. Great. And when our users click in to view the report, they can see that it's um, all the more details for this report chart. And also it's automatically brought over the filters of that account ID. So that's just a few steps on how you can bring awesome report charts into your pages. Uh, I think your users will love it. It's a great way to surface more data for them. Now, if you want to learn more about all the awesome stuff that you can do with the Lightning App Builder, go ahead and check out this webinar um, with our PM, Eric Jacobson, for Lightning App Builder. It's a great webinar on all the ways you can use standard and custom components to really optimize your pages and build really great pages for your users. That's all for today. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time.